how to make 5,000 big ones a month as a Medicare agent. In this video, we're gonna break down exactly how you can do that. This video is sponsored by none other than Lead Heroes, you guys. Lead Heroes has got you covered when it comes to telemarketed leads and virtual staffing. On the lead side, whether it be Medicare supplement leads, final expense leads, turning 65 leads, they just got something for everybody. They can also actually have you plug in with one of their virtual staff members on the staffing side to where you can pay by the hour for one of their trained and very well vetted staff members to help you out in your business in a virtual assistant format. Just because you watch this video, they're going to give you 10% off any order you make on their website. Link to the site can be found down in the description, so go ahead and check them out. There's a lot of ways to skin a cat. There's a lot of ways to get it done if you're trying to make $5,000 a week. There's a lot of ways to market. There's a lot of ways to prospect. There's a lot of ways to make sales, and not necessarily any one of them is better or right necessarily. Everything works a little, nothing works a lot, to quote my friend Justin Brock. Um, what I would tell you guys is I believe that there are s some ways that are probably easier and more simple than others. So I'm going to give you my way of what I would do if I was going out as a brand new agent and I was trying to make $5,000 a week in sales. Um, so first things first, and I do this in all my videos, we're going to have to do the math on how many applications you're going to have to write in order to do this, right? So if you're selling Medicare Advantage, let's say, we all, we all know that a true up for Medicare Advantage is about 573 bucks, unless you live in a state like New Jersey or California or something like that, right? Then the commission is a bit higher. Um, but about $573 is a true up for a Medicare Advantage plan um, in, in most states, right? In most markets. Um, the renewal is about $286.50, um, or it's a prorated amount if you write it at another point in the year, right? Depending on how far you write in the year is going to kind of determine how much that commission is prorated. Let's just say for the sake of example, our average sale is about 350 bucks in first year commission. I think that's probably pretty safe. It's conservative. I think in, in a vacuum, it'd probably end up being a little bit higher than that. But I think that's probably what I'm going to put it at for the sake of this video, for the sake of this example. So what that tells me is we have to be writing about 14 apps a week in order to make this happen, right? 14 Medicare Advantage applications a week. I think Medicare Supplement's probably gonna be in the same kind of ballpark range in terms of the actual first year commission you're looking at. So this is the target that we have to get to, right? About 14 apps a week. 14 apps a week make you have about 56 apps in a month. And I wrote about that um, a couple of times last year, actually. And I actually made a video about it where I actually went out in May and documented my own production, right? And we were actually moving some contracts around, so I probably could have done more like 70 or 80 if we didn't have any of those distractions taking place at that point in time. But my point is, how do you get this done? Well, there's three things that you're going to need in order to get this done. Number one, you need nothing in your way. Zero distractions. You need no distractions, nothing be getting in your way, nothing in your personal life. You can't have doctor's appointments right? Now, that I'm not saying that, that, that you can never go to the doctor, never go to the dentist or anything like that, but if you're trying to do this over a 30-day period, let's say, and you want to do this four weeks in a row, four weeks consecutively, you're going to need no distractions for that month. So push it off into the next month if you can. Um, so no distractions is number one. Number two, you're going to need consistent lead flow. You guys, you're going to have to have some consistent lead flow, okay? That's number two. And number three, you're going to need to be working five to six days a week, more realistically, probably about six days a week because you're going to have to fit enough appointments in. I always tell people, I think a good rule of thumb is it, depending on how many apps you want to write, you should have double that many appointments. So if you're trying to write 14 apps in a week, you should probably try to have 28 appointments over the course of that week. So let's say you're going on appointments Wednesday through Saturday, right? So we have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So over a four day period, that's about seven appointments a day. I don't think that's necessarily too unrealistic. Um, I think it's pretty normal and industry average that 
if you have an appointment with somebody, I'm not saying leads, right? Don't misconstrue what I'm about to say here, but for if you have an appointment with somebody, not a lead, but let's say you have an actual appointment with somebody, I think it's pretty realistic to say that you should probably close about 50% of the, the sits you have, the people that you're actually sitting with, right? So if you're having seven appointments a day, you're probably closing three to four a day, right? I think that's probably pretty realistic. There's gonna be some that are out of your control, right? Nobody bats 100 in the insurance sales game or sales game in all together. Nobody, I don't care who you are. Um, and if anybody tells you that they are, they're, they're completely lying to you and they're painting a very tall tale. I promise you that's nobody bats 100. The industry standard for leads is that you close somewhere between about 10% to 30%. I always say the industry standard is about 20%. But in terms of actual sits, people that you have appointments with, typically the rule of thumb is you should close about 50% of them, about half. I think that's a pretty good rule of thumb. So that being said, you know that you need 28 appointments a week, you guys. So what should you be doing? Well, in my opinion, I think you should be coming up with a lead plan and a marketing plan, right? Um, I would try to find a way, and if you have to move some money around from, from, from savings in order to do this, I think you probably should be doing this. Um, you should be trying to obtain about $840 a week of leads, right? And that's in with, that's in with an average of about $30 a lead. Now, what you should probably be doing is mixing up your efforts, right? Maybe doing a little bit of direct mail in there, maybe doing a thousand piece drop every week consistently, week after week, you're dropping that thousand piece drop for the next upcoming couple of weeks, right? You have some digital leads, you have some internet leads, Facebook leads, whatever the case might be. What you need, my friends, is volume, right? You come into the office, you, or whether you're working at home, you sit down in your office Monday morning, you start at about 8.30 in the morning, and you dial, right? And you dial leads. And not only do you dial leads, you try to set appointments for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. This is a formula here. And you do this week after week after week. Every week, you rinse and repeat. You're going to need a mixture of leads. I mean, truth be told, I think it probably would make a little bit your life a little bit easier if you just spent $1,000 a week on leads, right? Try to find a way to get that budget. $1,000 a week on leads equivalates to about $4,000 a month in leads. Now, I know you might be thinking to yourself, how do I come up with that kind of money? I would do anything you could to get that kind of money, guys. Now, if you're a brand new agent and you just don't feel comfortable and you don't really know what you're doing yet, this video might not be for you. I think this is more for this person that knows what they're doing. They know how to conduct themselves when they get in front of a client and they're very comfortable and competent about being able to do a presentation. However, maybe the lead flow is the problem, right? Maybe the lead flow is the problem. Maybe um, getting in front of people and having enough conversations on a weekly basis is the problem. So I think you gotta pay to play a little bit if you really wanna do this efficiently. Um, we've talked a lot on this channel about grassroots marketing and um, you know doing things without spending money. This is not the video for that. This is the video about spending money, investing into your business, and pushing all your chips into the center of the table here. Um, if you pull this off, guys, and you write 14 apps a week, 56 a month, and with an average first year commission of $350, boom, right there, $19,600 a week, a month, excuse me, um, in first year commission, guys. And this is how you're gonna grow your business. If you did that every, every, um, every month for a 12 month period and you really just put your head down and went to work, you would end up with about $250,000 in new commission that year. Now that's efficiency, if you ask me. Now, here's the, here's the goal though, guys. You gotta make sure that you are showing up every single day, you're putting the work in. Um, there's no riches for the people that are staying at home, or the people that are sleeping in, or the people that are staying up late at night, or the people that are undisciplined. If you really wanna make this a reality for you, one thing that you have to commit to, you have to commit to discipline, routine, and consistency. Discipline, routine, and consistency. If I was starting from scratch today, guys, I would do whatever I needed to do to kind of get my feet off the ground by putting money into the business. Now, maybe you don't have the, the means to do $4,000 um, a week. Cut it in half then. Do $500 a week, $2,000 a month, right? 
and try to make $10,000 a month. Guys, you can do this. It's just a numbers game. Law of large numbers says, it says a couple of things, but the first thing it says is you talk to enough people, good things are going to happen for you. There is a closing rate. There is a persistency rate. There is um, a rate that says you talk to enough people and you're going to get a certain percentage of those people to buy a product from you or they're going to need your help. You're going to be able to help those customers, right? The other thing that the law of large numbers says is the more you do something, the better you get at it. So when you're three months in, in on this, when you're four months in on this, you might very well find it much easier to accomplish your goal every single week than you did the first month or the first two months. You guys can do this, right? It's not that difficult. Make sure to diversify your lead flow. So I'd pick two to three types of leads that you're going to spend money on. Put $1,000 a week into those leads. Make sure that Mondays and Tuesdays, you're hammering them, scheduling appointments, right? Um, this is if you're trying to go to someone's house. You could even schedule follow-up phone appointments, but they have an easier time ducking you if you do that. This, my friends, is going to bring you a lot of of momentum in your business. And um, it's a quick and fast way to grow your business. I've always said that leads should be a means to an end. Ultimately, you want your business to have a brand and grow and those kind of things. But you got to start somewhere and you have to build a foundation and leads can help you build the foundation in your business. Anyway, guys, um, I'd love to kind of hear your thoughts on this. Did this video help you? If it did, help me out by hitting the like button. Smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. It helps so many people find these videos that need to hear this information. Make sure to comment down below. What are your thoughts? Is this a strategy that you've tried before? Is this something that you do? Um, what, what challenges are you having in your business so we know what kind of content you want to see going forward? Make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and until next time, guys, here's to your success and your abundance. Go write those apps. Thanks, guys.